Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Nitty Digit Podcast. I am your host, Jay, a.k.a. Jennifer, or the other way around. Um, if you're new, I am so glad you found me. If you are returning, you're fabulous, you're wonderful, I love you. It's been a while, so, and if you notice, the background isn't completely different. I know I keep changing the background on you. Well, I'm going to start with announcements first because it makes more sense that way. Um, first off, there is a reason for a different background and random monkey heads and rats. Um, that is because the Casa de Penguin is now Casa de Penguin y Bunny. So, yes, the professor has moved in with me, and now there's a lot more stuff in my apartment. We've been both kind of trying to cut things down and cleaning out closets and whatnot, but there's still a lot more stuff in this apartment than there was before. So, yeah. So the background is completely different. Um, still, you know, he's, he has, he, I, I have decreased in my yarn storage. Um, like I haven't lost any bins, but there's no room for expansion. So, yeah, we're gonna get used to this. We are. I'm not used to this. I'm fine with the change. Very fine with the change, but there's a lot of difference. <laughs> I don't do well with change. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the reasons why I didn't get to record last weekend was because, um, obviously I worked, but, and also I, we were moving TVs and moving bookcases, and we're still not done. We still have huge, big, big items that we need to move, and he's slowly moving in books. Seriously, I don't, between the two of us, I think... We could do a library. We could. We just don't have the space for it. So we're, he's slowly moving in, but basically he's living with me now. Um, second announcement is I, if you haven't seen all the posts I posted, I posted it on the, on the blog. I posted it on the Ravelry page. Um, I, oh, and I posted it on my Twitter feed. I did not post it on Instagram, and I realized I should have done that too. So, um, I'm cutting the iTunes feed because in order to do the iTunes feed, I was paying Podbean, and you know, just kind of looking at the expenses and just kind of just seeing the budget and seeing everything, and I realized I don't, I don't make enough episodes. If that makes sense to um, warrant paying, you know, and um, I haven't done enough show notes so that no one could be linked to anything from Amazon, and so I'm not making any associate money, which it's my fault. I haven't done any any show notes, so um, it just wasn't cost efficient and. Whatnot. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to do just YouTube. Um, I Someone did mention that one of the things that they had problems with with YouTube was that since they're in Canada and they're not from, you know, other countries, they can't see it because of the music I post, I add at the end. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just basically, I'm not going to cut that part. I'm going to add the picture because I think it benefit my podcast benefits from it but I'm gonna find more um, copyright friendly so music so that way it's not or I'll do my own <laughs> I'll hum <laughs> I'll figure it out but for now it's gonna be no music which kind of sucks because I like the music but I'm not going I, I want people to easily have access to it I'm not gonna you know if you can't access it from Canada or England or anywhere else because of copyright law, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, that's just not fair for you guys. So, um, for now it's going to be no music until I figure, I figure something out with, with YouTube or whatnot. So, um, yeah, but I'm still going to post 
it on the blog. I'm still going to put snippets. I'm going to put the video up on the blog, on the show note blog. Um, if it's easier, I can also post it in Ravelry so that easy access, you can just go to the Ravelry page and see where that is. Um, let me let me know what you think. What would be easy for you guys? So that way, um, I know there's Feedly. People get their podcast through Feedly um, you, and whatnot. So if you want to do that, totally do that. And I'm, I'm still going to continuously put the video in the blog post. So that way you can easily get it. Um, and not have to go through a pain but it's just it was just getting it was just getting too much and with not enough <sighs> there are more costs than benefits so in the end I just you know what podcasts are kind of evolving anyway with with what was going on with um blip so a lot of people are being kicked off blip and go moving to YouTube so I figure I'll just I was doing YouTube anyway, so let's just do it that way, and that way it's cost efficient for me. So, and I hope you, I, I believe you guys understand, I, and I hope you guys understand. Um, I'm still, I'm still recording, you guys, come on, I'm still here. Just it's not as much anymore because, you know, life has changed, and I'm happy with those changes, and it's just how it's going to be. <laughs> All right, I have a lot of stuff to show you <laughs> because it's been, what, three weeks? Yeah, it's been three weeks and a lot has happened. So let's stop talking, <laughs> stop blabbering, and move on with the content, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so, ooh. I forgot the mute button, so I'm going to stop blabbering. Again, all my things have changed. I used to have soft blockers right here, but you know what happened is so in order to have this bookcase, I had to move my cubby, one of the one of my yarn cubbies. So the yarn cubbies is now over there, and I had to clean the top off this to add my knitting books because there's a TV over there. I now have two TVs in my apartment. I only had one. In the living room, right now, there's a TV in my bedroom, which is great. I can I can lie in my bed and watch TV while he goes and does his video games, or if he's sleeping, I can go out in the living room. Or he says that if I want to, I have earplugs for my Roku, because the Roku's oh my god, <laughs> the Roku's here, and the Roku has earphones that I can. Anyway, I'm blabbering. Anyway. So the sock blockers are somewhere, they used to be right here, as I said. But now the sock blockers are somewhere in my drawers, and I can't find them. No, I know where they are, I just forgot. How about that? That's, that's the honest truth. So, for now, everything's in flux, okay? Everything's in flux, and it's going to be fine, alright? It's going to be fine, right? Yeah. Perfect. I'm so, I'm so excited. Anyway, so here are my zombie apocalypse shops. I believe I was here the last time on the second sock, I think. But now they're done. And I've worn them, obviously, as you can see. They're kind of fuzzy. They're fuzzy because I think the MCN, when you, when you put them in, they get fuzzy. And they kind of felt, so you can see. Yeah, see that? Which is perfectly fine. I'd rather it felt than um, make holes. So, but yeah, they're nice and comfy. I'm not. I'm still not very happy about the uh, short row heel. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna buy the fish lips, fish kiss lips heel pattern and do that and see how that goes. And I, I and see if it if it does if you can do toe up I think you can do toe up I'll, I'll have to again I'll have to purchase it and then look it up um, and see if it will work I think it will so but this after this I decided I'm gonna take a little break from socks so as you'll see 
with my cast on itis that none of them are socks. It's sock yarn, but not socks. So as you can see, this is also seeing somewhere. So that's one FO. Well, I think, and I believe I'm right. I was also working on the pony shawl. I have not blocked it, but I am done with this one as well. If I can figure out where is this? Oh, here. So I think it will look very nice once I block it, but right now it's kind of the cat puke version of lace right now and it's too blue from here well okay there you go that's a good reflection of the color you see yeah but i think this will be very pretty i'm very happy with how it turned out so this was for the Downton Abbey knit along that ended up, I think I was the only one that did it. <laughs> I never got it. There was no thread put up. There was nothing. So I don't, I don't know. And I haven't heard anything from when I go to work and I talk to people. So I figure, okay, whatever. It's okay. It is all right. So I finished it and it was a, fu it was fun. This was, um, excuse me. Okay. Back up, back the gravy train up. So these were, by the way, my zombie apocalypse. That was the colorway name in Out of Step Dye Works. Again, the scrap of yarn is somewhere in this apartment. I don't know where. Um, these were done in US1 needles in my Haya Haya Sharps. And this was a pattern created by me. It's a simple vanilla sock pattern, so it's not, there's no copyright, it's nothing that huge, it's just my own basic vanilla sock. 64 stitches, toe up, etc, etc, etc. This is the Paponi Shawl by Hil Hilary Callismith. It is a paid pattern and it's not that much money. So I really recommend that you guys get it. It's about five dollars. Um, this is done in Canon hand dyes, hand dye yarn in the Dowager Countess. It's one of the Downton Abbey inspired. This was done in US sixes and I did them in my signature, my signature, signature needles convertibles. They are my convertibles. So my new convertibles. I've been getting a lot of signature needles lately because I love them. And also my store carries them, so. Alright, those are the dirty details for both of them. So definitely going to block, I'm definitely going to have to block a lot of things. Um, I have a huge pile that has been moved again. I would like to know it's been moved. Everything has moved. I am fine with this. I really am. I really don't like chaos, but this is a good chaos. I'm, I, I would like to know if this is a good chaos, but everything's around and it's going to be combobulated for the next few weeks. Um, so again, those, those are my, um, finished objects. What is on the needles? Let me just say, there's a bunch load on the needles because once I finish the two, I'm like, I have nothing on my needles. This needs to be fixed. So I went Overboard! Because for two days, because I finished those two in the middle of the week, I finished both of them at the same time. I was going through shows, the professor went to sleep early, and I wasn't sleepy, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to finish some shows that I watch. And I just went through, powered through, and just finished both of them. And I'm like, okay, I don't have time to wind up yarn, though, because... I usually don't have enough time to do anything during the week. So it's kind of like, I don't have anything on the needles. This is bad. So like, I, I really did go overboard. So first off, in my Aaron Wayne bag of goodness, this is my carry around. 
project. This is this is the Irish mush cow. Now, of course, it's in the middle of a road, but it's his life. And this is Blue Moon Fiber Arts. So the pattern is Irish Mesh Cal. Just look up Irish Mesh Cal. It is a free pattern. Um, these are my high, high sharps US 4. Oh, excuse me, US 7. It's 4.5 millimeter, but it's U US 7. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And the colorway is, if I can, again, Blue Moon Fiber, Fiber Arts Socks That Rock Lightweight, and I believe this is called, Splotchy McSplotchy Pants. Yes, Splotchy McSplotchy Pants. So it's a nice pinky, peachy, light color. So I kind I also a lot. The theme of what I cast it on is not socks, and they're all Blue Moon Fiber Arts. I basically take all the took all my sash of Blue Moon Fiber Arts and caked it up, and I'm putting them into projects. Yep. Because I have a lot of Bloom and Fiber Arts socks at Rock, and I want to knit them. And that will give me a nice excuse to buy more. See? Look. Logic! Right? <laughs> I'll show it to you again. It's not, there hasn't been, because this is, this is my travel project. There hasn't been much knit because I knit in the afternoon, so and sometimes I haven't been able to get a seat, so it's hard to knit this while standing. So move a little bit around, but that's fine. All right, so that's my that's my travel project. My next project is. Yes, I know. <laughs> and my needle runs through a bag that I got at Stitches West. And this is also Blue Moon Fiber Arts. And I think, let me pull it out. So the pattern is called Sala Cow. It's a knitty, it's a knitty pattern. It is also free. S-A-L-L-A-H Cow. Stock Set Rock. Cozy, fierce, and dirty orange. This is lightweight. Yeah, lightweight. Okay. Now let me get this out before. So, this one, it's a free pattern. This one calls for both size 10 and size 5. And what you do, I'm in the increase portion. And what you do is you knit every, I'm losing my needles, um, every, since it's free, I'm not really giving much away, but basically you knit every other row with different, so you knit, so row one, you knit with a five, which is this one. This is the Knitter's Pride. Um, not Nova. <sighs> I got this at work. Um, I'll remember it. I'll remember when I pull it out. But basically, or maybe it'll tell me. No, of course it won't tell me. So US 5, 3.75 millimeter. And then you knit with a US 10, which is, a, this is a signature needle 10. And you see how it goes? Right now, it, it's kind of doing some weird, yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be right. I don't know what, I was knitting it yesterday, and all of a sudden it was starting to sync up, and I'm like, what did I do wrong, you know? 
but I'm in the increase portion. I don't know, but it's looking kind of weird now, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, and you basically knit, you're basically taking one and you're knitting into the other with a larger needle, and then you go with a smaller needle, and it's it's kind of, it's kind of fun. It really is kind of fun. So this has been my TV knitting for a little bit. And I have been meaning to switch around my projects, but then I just grabbed this one because it's on top of my knit, on top of my bag. But I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I'll have to. You see how kind of. So that's another project and this is US 10 but it doesn't have the uh, this is a fix not a convertible um, and I don't know I do not know what's the millimeters sorry I'm trying to put this back in without getting all the wires all funky all right so that's that one um, the next one that I, 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 I cast it on. This is in my slip stitch studio bag that I got at Stitches West. Um, I cast it on and I knit a little bit, but then I've, I haven't touched it since. Um, this is my, so this is Blue Moon Fiber Arts. You see how small it is? So this is Blue Moon Fiber Arts in the socks that rocks, the silky socks that rock. And this is called 198 Yards of Heaven. This is also another knitty pattern, I think. No, sorry. It is a free pattern, but it's not knitty. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and this is done in Signature US 8, 5 millimeters. And this is, again, the pattern is called 198 Yards of, of Heaven. It's a kerchief of some sort. And, ah! Down! The bag is down! The bag is down! And, this is Silky Socks That Rock, which is 81% Superwash Merino. And 19% silk, and it's called I Mad Heart You. And the colors are actually pretty true. It's a little bit more green than it's showing. Yeah. But I casted this on and haven't really touched it since. Like I did maybe one row of the chart and then haven't touched it since. Cause I it was kind of it was fun to knit with the knit the sala cow with the different needles and I'm like I must knit more. And you're also reading a chart which is kind of distracting when you're catching up on TV. So. Maybe I'll knit a couple rows today. All right, so that that's that one. So that actually has used not all of my blue moon. So I have I have some medium weight socks that rock that I want to make a, a a shrug, but that has that has been kicked and put to the side that I'm gonna cast on for later. Um, and I didn't take it out, but here's a non blue moon that I'm going to knit in US 8s. These are my US 8 convertibles. And I've just been meaning, I've been meaning to cast on, but I haven't because again, I, I can, I think I can only be a two to three. I think I, I can only be a two project person. <sighs> I can't do, I, 
when I get three, one just kind of gets lost in the in the making. So um, I'll cast this on when um, I'm done with I'm done with one one or two projects. Um, but this is going to be the Arroyo. This is Yarn Love in the Juliet Col in the Juliet base. I believe it's Juliet. This is one of the many yarns that I got in the in the many yarn clubs I did with yarn yarn love. I love yarn love. I just had to stop because I was just getting too many too many and too many skeins and not and I haven't knit many of them. So this is yarn love. And it's Juliet, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and the colorway is called Robin's Egg Blue. And here's the color. Not, it looks green in the screen in my screen, but it's definitely more of a blue green. So that's gonna be the Arroyo, which is another free pattern on Ravelry. So but that's gonna be in the works. I'm gonna cast that on when I have more. Like once, I think once I finish one project and can move on to the next, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, all right, that is what I'm mostly knitting on. Um, now that things have calmed down and I've gotten more knitting done. So, that's why I'm all cast tonight is I must cast on everything, must cake everything. But now I'm like, okay, all right, let's manage this. Right, let's manage this. And you notice no socks. I'm taking a break from socks. I know, I know I, I am a sock knitter, but I, I gotta take a break from it or I'm gonna be like, woohoo. Um, but I do know that if I'm gonna knit socks, again, they have to be, they do have to be self striping. So. I think I'm gonna. Uh oh. I'm gonna finally knit me up some purple goddess. This is what she gave me some time ago as a thank you. The ginger is a clever one. So I'm gonna knit some of this. I'm gonna knit this up. She has a colorway called the silver lining that's gray with rainbow. I want it. I want it. I have enough. If I have in my next paycheck, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shh! Don't tell the professor. <laughs> he doesn't. Anyway. Um. So yeah. Uh. Books. So here's another one that I think I need some feedback because I'm starting to lose steam on this like what should I show you should I make it into more of what's on my bookshelf you know that sort of thing go to the format of what I'm knitting what I'm reading you know what's on my nails so oh sorry books go after nail oh my goodness you know what it's gonna be reverse <laughs> it's gonna be reverse because a lot of what I put on my nails I've also purchased so how about this I'll reverse it and it'll be books first then nails and it'll be a combination of my parade my guilty pleasure parade and nails how about that so books okay Whew. sorry um so books that again I, I i think i need feedback because if you guys don't mind i could totally make it into what i been what i've been reading what you know what what i'm listening to what i'm reading because i i'm just kind of losing steam in regards to creating reading advisory lists because I, I i i'm not with a lot of reading advisory lists they're based off of what someone is asking for and since i'm not really creating it for people who have asked I'm, I'm it's it's getting harder because I don't have that many well that's gonna change but I don't have that many books to really showcase 
you know? So I, I, I really think that would be better if I change it into what I've been reading. But if you want something different or you really like the advisory list, um, let me know and also give me some themes to start on. Yeah? Okay. So the latest book that I finished that I simply adored was this book. Where'd you go, Bernadette? By Maria Simple. This was for this was for this is for, excuse me. Um my book club. And after reading a horrible, horrible book that I'm not even gonna tell you because it was that bad. Um we needed something really good, so we chose this one, and it's fantastic. If you like the Arrested Development wit um, and the humor there, you're going to just love this book. I, like, plowed through, and basically, so let me read you the description. <clears throat> Bernadette Fox has vanished. Bernadette is a frightfully intelligent wife and mother whose intense allergy to Seattle specifically and to people in general has driven her to hire a virtual assistant in India to execute even her most basic tasks. Then her daughter, B, insists on a family trip to Antarctica as her reward for getting perfect grades in middle school, and Bernadette is faced with a daunting prospect of actual human interaction. The timing could not be worse. Worn down by years of dealing with Seattle's polite drivers, overzealous moms, and proximity to Idaho, and don't even get her started on Canada, Bernadette is already on the brink of a breakdown. Throw in a feud with her neighbor over Bernadette's rampant blackberry bushes, the scandal that erupts when she runs over another mother's foot at the school's drop-off, and a class fundraiser that goes disastrously awry, and is all too much. Bernadette vanishes, leaving her Microsoft guru husband, a horde of angry parents, and questioning police officers to pick up the pieces. Desperate to find her mother, B probes her emails, invoices, school memos, private correspondence, and other evidence conjuring up out of those shards, shards, a, part a portrait of a woman she never knew before, and a secret that could explain everything. Where'd You Go, Bernadette is an ingenious and unabashedly entertaining novel about a family coming to terms with who they are. It is also a riotous satire of privilege and an unsentimental but powerful story of a daughter's unflinching love for her imperfect mother. It is, it starts off epistolary. So it's, it, you kind of read through all these letters and emails and, and whatnot. But it's then connected, everything gets glued together by B. B is kind of like the the glue that holds it all together and it's fantastic and the humor is like amazing. I loved it. But if you did not like Arrested Development Wit and you're not into that sort of thing because so Maria Semple wrote for Mad About You, Ellen, and Arrested Development. So if none of that humor was for you, it's not going to be for you. But if you enjoy the humor, y'all check it out so all right voila <laughs> nails i know oh my god chaos um so first where how am i gonna start this um so i had a lot of mannings in the past few weeks um and i had a nail I had a nail party and also a jamboree party because one of my friends is a jamboree associate. And if you have been trying to find a jamboree associate, um, let me know and I will give you the contact info because my friend is amazing. She's fabulous. And um, and no, there's no pressure whatsoever with her. She's very chill about that stuff. So if you order from her, that's fine. Um, she's working on getting a square system so that way she doesn't have to, you don't have to mail her checks or anything. Um, but simply just, you know, she can run. I am, I'm, I don't know if she knows about PayPal, so I'm going to give her that information as well. But for now, she and I are kind of like, I'll send you the money for your check. And you give me my reps and all is good. And so that 
but I'm still, so this is the reason why there's been so many meetings. Um, I'm still working on how to put it on because it's, it's not nail polish and it's not stickers, it's a vinyl. And so the vinyl need, the vinyl glue needs to be heated up a little. And I think what is happening is I'm putting it on, I'm warming it up just right, but I'm warming it up too much. And when I cut it, I cut it when it's warm, not when it's cold, it has to be cold. And I'm making it too hot too, so it's causing bubbles and wrinkles and it's not, it's not working well. So it's not, it's not finicky. It's actually very easy to put on. It's and then beautiful designs. It's just, I'm using a hairdryer, but it's too hot. So um, again, I have samples that I'm gonna practice with. Um, but right now, so right now, I will show you what I have on right now. Right now, I got one of, so A England, it was supposed to be just UK only. She was having a sale for Tristan, her cat's birthday. Day. So it was April 2nd through the 4th. Well, s certain U.S. Um, distributors of A England said, oh, we'll participate too. So Color for Nails, which is over in Las Vegas, I found this out and oh my god, quick return. Oh my god, better than Laura, better than Ninja Polish. Oh my god, it took forever for Ninja Polish. Um, Laura was was an okay return, but color for nails. I'm definitely gonna go more towards if I want my nails, my nail polish right away. Um, so I did bridal veil. That was one of the ones that I got. I got three, which you'll see later. Um, you can't really tell the nice hollow because again the the light with with a England you have to have the right light. You can kind of see it's a black with holographic white sparkle. And the sun is out, but my digital camera, I'm trying to do better nail pictures. This last week just like died, but I'm on a mission to do better nail pictures. So I'm charging up my digital camera and I'm gonna go outside and take pictures of my nails because this needs to be well pictured. So you can kind of see I'm, I found a new method of putting on my nail polish that I'm still practicing, but much better cleanup, I have to say. And I'm still on my top coat mission. So, decided julep, the julep room polymer coat is good for my toes. Um, I don't like the Butter London, so I'm actually exchanging that with a julep mat with a friend of mine this upcoming week. Um, ooh, we didn't even email. um, right now I am working on in between the G and G HK girl top coat and the New York and with New York color grand central station, which is technically a clear nail polish, but it's basically a top coat. It's a speedy top. It's not, it's not a fast drying top coat. It's just, it's quicker than most other ones. HK Girl is supposed to be a quick one, but it's not as quick. Um, and it's not, I have to say, SV will always be shinier. Like, Posh was never shinier. But what I'm working on, what I'm really focusing on is, shine is fine. See, look, this is HK Girl. The shine is fine. I like the shine. And the... I'm just working for wear. I really want good wear. And right now, GC the NYC GCS is right now is winning in wear. And the price point. So the price point on the GCS was $1.99. HK Girl was $16. So if I can get nice shine and you know fast results and good wear on $1.99. I'm gonna go with a dollar ninety nine. Um, so, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Now I want to see if it glops. If it glops in the middle of the bottle, then it's out. We're gonna find something else. Sorry, I don't do glop. I don't do thinner. I'm lazy like that. It's just how it is. I'm not. I'm not sciency enough 
to do that. I want a top coat that's shiny, that's fast drying, well, at least fast enough drying that I can go to bed. Three, three, I want it to wear well uh, for a week. And four, I don't want it to glop in the middle. It's ridiculous. I'm not going to put thinner into my nail polish and find out that I ruined it. You know, I'm not that sort of girl. So it has to have the four good things. Right now, GC, right now, New York City has, it's shiny. It is fast. It's pretty quick and drying. It's... Um, wearability is great, um, but we'll see about the gloppiness. Right now, H right now HK Girl has really nice shine, as you can see. It is pretty fast, but it does wrinkle a little bit, especially if you put on a thick coat. So if you do a thin coat, I think it will be better. Um, it is a thicker formula than GCS. GCS is runny, so that's so it's easy to do thin coats on that one. Um, with G well, um, HK Girl is a little bit thicker, so it's not going to be as thin, but, um, and it, the wearability is kind of iffy. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes with Bridal Veil. Um, we'll see how it goes, and then we'll see if it glops. It supposedly does not glop. It's one of their claims, so we'll see. So, again, I'm going to show you. Again, you can't, yeah, see, you can't really see the holo, but it's a nice black. And you know I love my black. My heart is dark. I told that to the professor, and he's like, no, it's not. I'm like, yes, it is. Like, no, it's not. When? He doesn't believe me. My heart is dark. Don't know why I did it in that accent, but anyway. But it's shiny, and I like it, and it We'll see how it goes. The one thing with HK Girl, though, is it does have more tip wear. It tips wear quickly. Whatever. So that's what's on. See, from here, I can see. From here, I can see the holo. I just wish I could show it to you. I wish my camera was better. No. Yeah. Okay, so that's what's on the nails now. I also did a pedicure. I did my own pedicure. My nails were getting horrible, and I, I, I also don't have the time or honestly the money to do it, even a cheapy pedicure. So I did my own, and I'm gonna take pictures of that outside too. And I did the Juliet Freedom Polymer, and it's nice and shiny and perfect. So I'm gonna keep it on my toenails, and this is another new nail polish that has a backstory so I actually don't buy a lot of Essie so this is chin chili um, I, I don't buy a lot of Essie because I had that one that was discounted and it was awful and I've been hesitant to buy a new one but this was less expensive than the Sally Hansen grayish which is a dupe um, and I do have to say, I actually didn't find the formula that bad. So, I think it's also my painting skills are getting better. So, I think that's what it is. I still don't like the brush. I agree with a lot of people. The brush is, the brush is yucky. The formula is runny. But with the toes, it doesn't matter. I don't care. But I have tried this on my nails. And, it's, and I enjoyed it. So, there's a backstory to this. Um, which I will explain when I get to the Manny before this. So, where do I start? I start with the, so I'm going to work from what you guys had to the Manny that I had after the last episode to what I call the Manny of Multiple Faces. So after after the episode I had my nail party slash jamberry and I think I, sh I told you that I got my Better Londons as part of my birthday present. Maybe. 
that was a weird episode. I'm sorry, you guys. Kind of flip flopped, and I was still drinking my coffee. So I think I showed you that I got some Butter Londons. Um, so I painted with my nails. I did uh, Union Jack Black, and then I did the Jamberry. This pretty pretty foil which I have a picture of I can't I love black my heart is dark my heart is dark I know it's spring I'm supposed to be all springy and colorful and having all the brights and the pastels but I want black my inner goth is coming out what can I say so I did that and then the wrap fell off after three days because, again, user error. User error. Um, so I did, I ended up taking all of that off and doing, I wanted to practice more. And as a hostess, I got a free sheet. So I got the newspaper neutral. As you can see, I used it. And that was for the accent of the ring finger. I, I, I love having the ring finger as the accent. It's just a preference of mine. I like it. So, but I did put, I, I really wanted some nice purple. And other than my Butter London, which is another nice purple, I realize I have dupes of either Avalon or the Butter London. I don't know which one came first, but they're dupes. So I got the same purple. I got this nice foily Avalon purple. And I put this as the accent color. As the accent. And that actually stayed on a week. Um, because I didn't... There's another thing. I, kept, I keep fussing with the wraps. And I keep not making it right. So I think that's the other thing. Is I keep messing with them and ruining them. So once I apply it, that's it. Just apply it and be done with, right? So that's another thing is just letting them be them, you know? And also not cutting them or sanding them off when they're too hot. So that was my next mani. That lasted a week. And then I decided to take a little break from the Jamberry wraps and just put on Malala from Julep. This was a, this one I think I showed you, I got... Um, this was all proceeds from this purchase went to the Malala fund and you have if you have not heard about Malala check her out she's this powerful strong woman in Pakistan where in Pak I believe it's Pakistan where they do not allow women to go to school and she's fighting very hard for it and she basically they tried to assassinate her and she got shot in the head but she survived and then she's powerful she's amazing um so julep made a color for her called malala and all proceeds went to her fund so i wore that for a week and i, I have to say most of my manis do actually last for a week the the wearability i've finally gotten it down to a good science where i can have it last for a week maybe at the end it has tip wear but not that bad that it's noticeable not big humongous chips so I have to say I found a good base coat for me I really did so I really like I praise that that one to the high skies I love it um all right so that lasted a week and now we're to this week we are to the Manny that has multiple the Mania Multiple Faces. So, let's first start with the first color. So, okay. Sorry for my rage. I'm kind of, it's all. So, I first, I really wanted, after having the Malala, I wanted a more lighter, you know, Yes, I know my heart is dark. <laughs> my heart is dark. Um, I did, I really did want to keep with the light theme. So I, I, I've had this in my, in my stash, my nail stash for the longest time. This was one of my few first nail polishes when I was just buying OPI. 
and this is called my point exactly. I love the gray, but the thing is, it's a pain in the butt to put on. It's so sheer. After three coats, it's it's so thick. I don't know what I did, but it's so thick and it just doesn't feel right on the nail, you know? It's so thick and it didn't dry. A lot of the nails didn't dry. They got even when I put on the HK girl, it got it got all wrinkled and some of them even chipped off. It was awful. Um so I had and because I wanted to go back to practicing the GM berry. So I did the accent nail with a cherry. It was a light blue cherry, light blue background with cherries on it. Unfortunately, I do not have a picture of this wrap because, again, I'm still practicing and it came off after two days. Um, but before it fell off, I just... I did one day of the my point exactly. And I'm like I don't I don't like it. It's just it's awful. So I took this one off. I didn't take the jamberry, and I put on, and I had just got my julep box, which I'll show you in a minute. And I saw this color, and I'm like I want it. I want it on my nails now. It's looking more pink, but it's definitely a more hot. Oh, you can't see. It's definitely more purple than pink. Um, and it has a blue shimmer to it. Ooh, blue shimmer. So I put this with the cherries. And it was great. And then the wraps fell off. And I was at work at the time. I'm like, crap. So I went... I went to Walgreens and I quickly grabbed, I grabbed anything. I grabbed a base coat, I grabbed a top coat. Because I was going to get the Sally Handsome Complete Manicure, you know, the CMS. But I'm like, you know what? I don't like it. It never works out well. I'll just grab, I'll grab a quick, I'll, I was going to get grayish. But that's when I got chinchilli. So I got chinchilli. <laughs> And then I got, <laughs> I needed some Spider-Man, so I got a thousand volts. It was on sale. This was not on sale. This was on sale. So I put on chili really quickly in the bathroom. In the bathroom of all places. Oh. That's interesting. Anyway, sorry. Um, so I quickly put chinchilli up onto my nail onto my ring fingers at work quickly and then when I got home I'm like it really needs a nice blue shimmer so I put vivid lacquer the reason why the room is gone I don't have it here but it just it wasn't working it was not working three times and it just it looked awful if there it the SE and VL does not get good go along they just did not get along and just did not look right. It was a horrible idea. So it was almost midnight by that point. So I put on the thousand volts. So it was Caitlin with a thousand volts. And I believe I have a picture of that. Because I'm just like, I need to take a picture before things fall apart even more. Because I have none of I have no pictures of this. Only of Caitlin and a thousand volts. Just a, a huge background story. So then, so I'm like, okay, I'm done, right? I am done. Well, the week before, Pretty and Polish was having a sale. And I've always wanted her color changing stuff. And I got my purchase in the mail, which I'll show you, along with my other purchases. Well, I couldn't, I was just like, you know what, I want to put something new on my nails. So, off comes Caitlyn and Thousand Volts, and in comes Good Vibrations. And it looks more pink right now, but basically it's a nice, it's burgundy when cold. It's a whiny burgundy when cold, and it's a hot pink when it's warm. So it was nice, nice hot pink, and it was fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, 
So I had this on the nails for maybe a day, at least a day. And then I, I don't know what went. Ev I saw pictures of the rest of the Spider-Man Revlon collection and I had to have it. So I went and got all that my, all the Spider-Man Revlon that they had. So I got Super Powered, which is this nice duo, duo chrome. And you can't see it again. Super Powered. I got I'm Electro. And then I got uh, Spidey Sense. And then I got Gwen's Crush, which is very, it's, oh, that's the bright, yeah. So that Friday, I'm like, I want, I want to put one, I want to put these on. I want to put these on. But I didn't want to stop cuddling with the professor, so I have a specific spot where I do my manis. Excuse me. It's usually in the bathroom. And it's a perfect it does I don't hurt my back when I bend down and do it. And it's the right height. I didn't want to go in the bathroom. So I just tried to do it in front of the TV. It just wasn't it just wasn't working. I tried to do I try to do this. I try to do super power with a thousand volts as the accent. It just it, it was too thick. It was it was just it was way too thick and it didn't feel right, you know? So I took it off and just went to bed. And that's when Saturday, today Sunday, Saturday rolled around and I'm like I need to nub in my nails. So I nubbed them. I did a massive cuticle remover and I just focused on and I did a pedicure and then that night I did bridal veil. And that is the many of the many faces. <sighs> so let me show you what else I got. Cause there's more. So let me show you the rest. I got I also got from Pretty and Polish. I got um, pretty chameleon, which cold it's pink, when it's warm it's white. Um, the rest of my A England, I got Percival, which is just a nice foily red. And I know they look similar, but they're not the same. I got Briar Briar Rose Sleeping Beauty, which is more of a holo red, and it's a lighter red, and it's holo. So there. Oh, right here you can see it. Um, so yeah, that is the rest. And then, so Kaylin was part of April's collection, which I got them all. <sighs> I need to skip a box. I really do because I have at least 24 untrieds. Yeah, I know. I need to stop. It's just this, this, it was really pretty. So the quote is You don't have to be like anyone else by Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper said that. And this is called the Vivid Collection. It's very bright. Um, okay, so 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 I did Caitlin, and then here is Marin, which is a nice hot baby pink. This is, what is this? 
The tag now. So, oh, Bailey is also a girl. It's a nice bright blue. Ugh. It's supposed to be a light blue. It looks baby. I don't know why. It's too bright for the camera. Um, and then, what else did I get? I got the whole entire collection, and it had add-ons, so, tis life, tis who I am. So this is Phoebe, which was the boho glam, and again, holy crap, the, it's a green, but you can't tell because it's too bright for the camera. Oh my god, I'm at an hour. Sorry, guys. All right, this is Sunny, which is also, again, with the yellows. But this is really bright. I'm going to see how it goes. There you go. It's really bright yellow. So there you go. Um, this is Kayla, bombshell. This is a nice, it's pretty. I almost put this on. There's a new one, Caitlin. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So then I actually was almost going to paint my nails with. Oh, this is Caitlin. So what's this one? Oh my goodness gracious. I miss. This is Flora. I'm sorry. The one I had painted was Flora. I was going to paint my nails with Caitlin, but decided not to because my coworker had hot pink on. This is hot pink. I was going to paint my nails with Caitlin, but I didn't. Brain of Swiss cheese, I swear. See, I, I got it already. I even had it swatched and everything, but I didn't. Oops. I have been saying Caitlin. Flora! Flora, I'm so sorry, Flora. And then this is Mariska. Mm. I'll wear this for the Giants. Black and orange. All the way, baby. And then this is Tatum. Which I, this is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's pretty. And then my add-ons were, and you're going to laugh. Well, at least I hope you're going to laugh. This is Jet. Black. You cannot have too many black nail polish, okay? Some people it's red which is another part of mine. You can never have too many reds and you can ne never have too many blacks, okay? They're not the same. They're similar, right? They're not the same, they're similar. That is your PSA moment. And then I got Felicia, which is this, oh, look at that, you can't really see, but it's like, it's like mint ice cream. There you go. Isn't that pretty? It has, it's a mint jelly with black glitter in it. Hello, mint chocolate chip. I may do it. I may do like a black mint, black mint it would be so fantastic it would be it would be fantastic yeah i know as i said they're similar not the same right that's it <laughs> that's it i promise you that's it that's all i bought i i'm not allowed to buy any more nail polish or yarn. Yeah. 
I know I haven't bought much. I have not bought bought. Pfft, can't talk today. I can. I did not buy a lot of yarn this past few weeks. I've been very good about that, but I did spend a lot of my spending budget on nail polish, which, if I was not living with the professor, I may be eating ramen. Thankfully, he's now here and he's feeding me. <laughs> We're gonna be better about our budget. I, the, we will. I will, at least. I'm gonna get, be better about spending all my money. <laughs> I've been saying that for a year, haven't I? It's just so pretty. <sighs> but all right, I think we are on to etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, which I've basically told you everything. Um, the professor's moved in, so is Casa de Penguin y Bunny now. Um, what else? No more iTunes, and I'm gonna get a kitty! I know, so much change, so much change, but I'm so excited! I've been wanting a kitty forever! Always wanted a kitty, but my sister was allergic to them. And before before she, she they found that out, my mom hates cats. My mom hates cats. I don't know why, but she hates cats. And so when I was living them, I couldn't have a kitty. That's why actually why I have Ami because I really wanted to pick because I was really lonely and I was living with my parents and I was stressed out because I was working and going to grad school and I just needed a companion and I kept saying I want a hamster. I want this, I want that, I want a kitty. And they're like, no, 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 no. Until finally they're like, for your birthday, you want a bird? And I'm like, yes. So I got Ami. And I love Ami. But I'm getting a kitty. I'm getting a kitty. Um, my, my friend and her husband, they have four cats and things are changing in their lives and, you know, just different situations and we were we were having brunch with them because they were visiting from Sacramento and she mentioned that about Teddy the kitty the cat and saying oh you know I think we need to get you know we need to unload the cats I'm like really I want a kitty because so we're not supposed to have dogs cats and bunnies in, in the apartment I think I got away with the with the bird with a parakeet um, but they really don't, they don't want dogs and cats, but my downstairs neighbors have, has a dog, has a small dog. It's, <laughs> come on. And we have a lot of stray cats in the area. But I'm good. I'm just so good. I'm still getting a kid. Um, but shh. She, the, the cat actually has been living outside for a while and hasn't killed any of the animals. So she went up to a squirrel and did not do anything to the squirrel. Birds have been pretty safe with her. So I think Ami and her will get along. But I'm not going to let Ami fly for the next few, for once we get Teddy, because we're going to get Teddy next weekend. Um, hopefully. I'm I think it's a pretty sure shot, um, but I, for the next few days, I'm not gonna let Ami fly, and I'm you know let Teddy settle in, and then um, yeah, um, we're we're gonna we're gonna get a kitty, and and my my landlord is never here, is never around, never. It's like hands off pretty chill I mean as long as she doesn't is not out in front of the window all the time and I mean honestly you can't really you can't really see and we have a lot of stray cats that you could never really tell so I'm getting a kitty and I think Ami and her will be fine and she you know, my friend says that she doesn't really play with yarn, like she doesn't want to take yarn babies, so I think my setup with the yarn is fine. Um, a lot of the yarn is up high now, so it'll, it'll be fine. 
and and yeah, I'm excited. I've always wanted a kitty. Have I mentioned that I've always wanted a kitty? I love kitties. They are so cute. And you're cute, 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 cute. And so, I mean, when the professor and I decided that we were going to live together, um, we've been discussing getting animals other than Ami because we like we like cuddly animals. And he wants a dog, but we definitely we do not have enough space for a dog because although the dog would make us walk more, we just don't have enough room for a dog. He wants a backyard for the for the dog, so we're not gonna get the dog. Um, but I've been like. We either need to get a kitty or a bunny. And he's like, do we have room for the bunny? And I'm like, I think we do. So we, I was actually going to get a bunny. At the When Alameda County Fair came around, I was going to get a bunny. And we were going to get a cage and we are going to have a bunny. Because the bunny and the bird will get along, right? Well, now we're getting a kitty. And um, a cat. Because she's eight years old. Um, but, so we can't have the bunny and the kitty. We're just going to have the kitty. Um, and then once, once we've saved up enough money and have, um, things are kind of, we figure we'll, we'll move from here about a year and a half. Just depending on, this. just depending on where we are at, we will be moving to San Jose and hopefully we'll have hopefully we'll get a two bedroom we want a house but I don't I don't think our money situation will be would be able to do that so I think we're gonna get a two bedroom a two bedroom of some sort because we just have too much stuff for a one bedroom I mean this was a one bedroom because it was just me um, the situations, you know, it, it was a good, it was a good decision to make because we were there at our, at the stage of our lives and of our relationship and we're pretty solid and we're pretty set on, on, on our relationship and, you know, so something happened and, you know, something and so that's when we said, okay, we'll just move in here and we'll save up enough money so that way and, see because I don't know the job situation for me um it's a long you know you know I've been more trying to get a librarian job but we're it's been a year when I started so it's I, I know I I knew this was gonna be how it was gonna be so um we're working on trying to get that part of my life set because it's not a good situation right now. Um, it's soul crushing. So, um, we're working on that. And so we're kind of seeing where, um, things are in our lives. So we set up a date. We are saying we're going to be here for a year and a half and then see where we want to go from there. If we can move to San Jose, um, we're definitely going to. I think that's the next step is to move to San Jose instead of, which I'm going to miss my East Bay. <laughs> I'll miss my East Bay area and being close to Oakland and whatnot, but it's, it's where things will be better. Not better, but you know, it's where the next step is going to be. So, but that's not going to happen in, in a long while. We in a long, long while. So we're going to be here for a good long time. Um, it's just, we, we've been starting to talk about the future and plan and what is going to happen. And that is what we have set for now. Again, life changes, life happens. And so we're kind of making it very flexible. So but flexible in the sense of where I'm going to be and what is happening, really mostly me, um, in regard to the job situation. Um, we're, we're, we're both hoping that I find a pretty good job. I just, it, I'm 30 now, and 
I really want a job that is fulfilling and not babysitting and um, pays market value. So, and not always having to worry about money would be great. I don't want to be, I'm, I've never been the type of person that wants to be rich. I'm not into the million dollars and whatnot. I just want to be able to live comfortably and I not, I can't live comfortably with, even with the raise that I got because it's still below market value. So, um, yeah, we're working on that. I'm, I'm trying. I'm put, I'm moving into steps towards finding a different thing. Just trying to figure something out. Um, even if it isn't library sciences, it's something that's not law. Done. I think Jerry Judy just took it out of me. I just, that was the last straw. I'm like, I'm done. I, I can't do this with my life. Law is not me. So we're working on it. So yeah, life is changing. But that's about it. That is all of the three weeks that I can cram. And it's an hour and 15 minutes now. And I am hungry. Um, Because it's almost 3 o'clock and I'm starving. So I'm going to make a quick snack. Because I'm going to make paella for dinner. Um, all right. Stop the blabbering. You can find me on Twitter as J underscore crafty underscore geek. You can find me on Instagram where you'll find most of my pictures. That is J crafty geek. You can find me on Ravelry as Knitterly Book Lady. We also have the Knitty Digits has a group. We're pretty silent, but that is where a lot of my announcements or if I, if you haven't seen an episode in a while, I usually post a little thing that says, I know, I know, I'll get to it, I promise. Um, but yeah, that's mostly where I put my announcements. We do have a show notes blog, which is where the video will be as well. If you decide, if you do not want to go to YouTube, um, that is nittydigits.blogspot.com. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you hopefully in a couple weeks with a kitty! And hopefully less combobulated. <laughs> Alright, you guys, have a great rest of your great week and have a great nitty to day. Bye.